How we doing, buddy? Yeah, you're feeling better today, ain't you? You had yourself an egg. Yeah, and there's Miss Sister. There's Miss Sister. Well, listen up, Lily. Go ahead, lay down, listen up. Today begins your weight loss journey. It ain't fair that I'm losing weight, and you guys are beefaloes. Look at you, Lily. So starting today, I bought you some new things to eat. You're going to have chicken. You're going to have carrots. You're going to have green beans. You're going to have chicken livers. And you're only going to get a small portion of the dry. And we're going to wean you off the dry. And then in a few months, you will all both feel six years old again. That's right. Six years old. What do you think of that, boy? Oh, did I hear something out of you? Well, what do you think of that? You're going to have egg, chicken livers, chicken, beef. Because you're carnivores. He's doing better. Now, when he, we got home from the vet yesterday, he just he laid down right there. He was there for a couple hours. He was just wore out. You got to understand he's not breathing normally. So it, it took a lot out of him. And then he started perking up around 11 o'clock last night. Went outside and I watched him. I zoom in on the cameras to watch his breathing. It's still not, you know, he just started his medication. We'll get it there. Uh, so he's had all his medication not quite 24 hours, but he's had one of each of them. So they should start taking effect pretty soon. He'll start feeling better. He's been eating. He didn't want to eat yesterday, last night, but he ate this morning. He was good and hungry this morning, so that's good. Willie, what do you think about going on a diet? You don't look too enthused about it. But I guarantee you, you're going to walk better. And you're going to feel better. And it won't hurt. You're going to like the food that I'm giving you. It's going to cost me more. But that's okay. All right, we got to get to work. Got to get to work. Let's start on the chicken pen now and concentrate on other things while he recovers. And uh, what are you guys watching? That's not the kind of thing we need to be watching, big old buffalo walruses. <laughs> Willie. All right, let's get to work. All right, here is the game plan for today. We're going to get those panels for the dog, the, the former dog kennel that are leaning up over there against the tree. We're going to put them, ah, man, that's barely going to clear this tree if it does at all. We'll make it work somehow. There is part of that one panel that's kind of broken. So that may work good over these tree roots. Or I may just have to angle it out a little bit. I can do that. We'll just angle it out. But the plan is I'm going to add on to this here, okay? I'm not going to take this part of the fence down. I'm simply going to take the bolt cutters once I get the kennel up and cut them a hole. You can do that pretty easy with chain link. Cut them a hole and come in and out. That even gives it a little more security. Uh, they can run in here. They need to. I did order the netting. That will be here Monday. I'm not going to fool with what's in that bag because it's just a bunch of pieces. We'll leave this as it sits and then I'm going to put the new kennel in and cover it. I already bought the zip ties. Uh, so I'm probably going to have to move some of these rocks and we'll get this thing. Yeah, they're going to have some good shade here. And you know, I don't worry too much about cedar trees because when the limbs do fall, they're not very heavy. Rarely do you have a big limb break. That's going to be strong enough. That's you know they're not going to be out in that kind of weather where a limb's going to fall anyway. So let's get this thing going. Cause you know what? I ain't got all day. I got other stuff to do. I have a new gadget. I have trouble getting internet out here in the new shop. But I've got something that's going to fix that. I got some bridges. We're going to. Uh, company sent me we're going to get them on there 
maybe later today I'll do a video on that that'll be a review but that's something I really need like I said I don't accept things to do reviews on that I don't need so that's going to be a nice thing to have and it works with Starlink so well here comes the star of the show Waddles what you doing <laughs> they were saying when I pulled in I just got back from the grocery store and they're all lined up at the fence because I forgot to give them scratch this morning. Uh, all right, let's get to work. Not going to be fun dragging that fence over here. Heavy as hell. Heavy as hell. Hunger bugger, nuka naga. Oh wow. Alright. See how I just snagged you guys up? Cause you're in my way. Swing that in over this way. Oh, that's gonna be a long, long pin. All right, I'll come back when I got her. Now listen to me. I don't need you guys out barking orders, telling me where to put what. I know what I'm doing. Is that clear, Waddles? If you don't think they don't already know what's going on. Well, I don't know what you think, but they know. These hens, not so much waddles, but these hens have seen me working for years at the ranch. And they know what I'm doing. They're stupid, but they're not that stupid. And waddles, look at him. He just knows something's up. All right, we got the first panel in place. Not really, but it's there. And it does clear the tree. We'll be fine with that. 
Now I gotta go get the end panel so I can stand these up. Man, these are a bugger moving. I gotta work that bottom in, then I'm gonna strap it to the existing uh, coop. And that'd be about all we need. Then I may have put up a few T-posts. We'll, we'll get the ends on, see how strong it is. You need to go outside, young lady. It's too nice to be sitting in here. Look at me. Hey. You need to go outside. Come on. Go outside and sit in your chair. Goofball. Well, and I'm going to tell you something else. You're not getting a feather uh, washing room. It's just not happening. <laughs> Gotta get that rock out of there, Waddles. seen you guys this interested since since the corn mishap of 2022 there we go and then we'll just stick this in there for now oh third hit her secure It's pretty cold in here. It got down into the 40s last night. And it's still cold in here. So I was in the hardware store earlier. Uh, I was looking at, I'm going to get a wall, propane wall heater for this place. Uh, I, I'm probably going to have to put it here or somewhere in here. And just a 10,000 BTU is all it's going to need. It's, this is very well insulated. Y'all see me build it. Uh, once, once, you know, it warms up a little bit, probably won't need it. So that's what we're going to do with that. Uh, yeah, need to get on the lasers. So I think, I don't really like having it. I don't, that's not a good spot. Maybe I'll have to move this cabinet and put, put it there. Or I could just use, try my little buddy uh, propane, see how that works. That should heat this place very well. It's only a couple hundred square feet. So it should do fine. I'm going to open these windows and get some warm air in here. Okay, it's okay. Alright, that's pretty straight. That is just about dead even with that. But I need some support right here for this. And you're going to be in my way. my tea post jar. No, I haven't been drinking. It's the first day wearing jeans. My 38 jeans and I got a belt on and they're they're loose. Alright. Let's do this in one quick motion. <clears throat> they're not going to like this. T-Post driver, T-Post driver. How many rocks are we going to hit? What? No fussing? You guys must be deaf. Libby's not. <laughs> She's her Millie's not. Millie, it's okay. It's just me.
wire that up. Be good. All right, I did find the other clamps for the fence. They were laying here on the ground. All right, that's it for this. And then what I'm going to do is go all along the bottom there with the two foot rebarb to drive this in. And it'll, it ain't going nowhere. Man, that's going to give them a big area. Kind of feel bad now that they've been, <laughs> been in that little one all this time. But I had to do with what I had when I had it. And they survived. They don't know any better. Waddles don't anyway. And them hens were in smaller pens than that at the ranch. Alright, I found this piece of fence left over from Rooster's Yard. That's perfect right size when I worked at the ranch I used to do this to the tops cut the centers out and leave these spike parts out a lot harder for predators to climb they'll think twice once they do so we're gonna get this wired up I think we can wire all three of these at the same time you know what I walked into that I was looking for pliers I walked right in that shed knew where they were this is amazing knowing where things are I've never experienced that. It's a new, it's a, it's a new life, man. It's just a new life. All right, and we'll just snip it, snip it good. Wire that one. Gotta get crazy with it. Put a little wire on it. Turn these in. Now, get this big block out of my way. Because we're going to need you. It ain't got to be perfect and it ain't got to be pretty. Something to start with. Set these to go in. <clears throat> All right, y'all get it. I'll come back when we're close. All right, let's take a look at the pen. I did measure it. It is 16 feet long by 10 feet wide, so they're going to have quite a bit more space. Uh, this will be really nice for them, shaded. And then come out here, look at the view, get them some sun. Yeah, you're already planning stuff, huh? So we just wait now until Monday uh, when the netting comes. It'll take me probably, I don't know, 45 minutes to stretch this over. Probably going to cut some of these limbs back uh, just so they're not in my way when I'm doing it. And I think I'm just going to remove this whole panel here. I ordered enough netting to go all the way over all of this. So we'll go, we'll put a second layer over the top of that. Remove this section so they got easy access in and out. Uh, no reason to take that one off. And get this stuff out of the way. And they're ready to go. I'm just going to leave them rocks in there. Chickens like messing with rocks. Because bugs like to go hide under rocks. And then they wait. And when them bugs come out, they get the said bugs and they eat them. So this is going to be really nice for them. And if I need to catch them to do anything with them, I can herd them in here and catch them a lot easier than trying to, because what, what happens, I, I don't have to handle them very often at all. But uh, if I do, what is that? Oh, it's a feather. If I do, it's a lot easier in a place like this. And this is... Man, this is taller than me. I imagine it's six foot, but it's it's pretty high. 
Uh, to buy something like this nowadays, oh, seven, eight hundred bucks probably for this quality of a uh, fence. And this has been around a while. I don't even remember where I got it. I think the neighbor, the old preacher of that church gave it to me. Because I remember hauling it over. I had it all stretched over the hood of my, or the top of my truck. I got some pictures of that somewhere. Uh, if I can find it, I'll include it, but I doubt I'm going to find it. So this will work out just fine. I got all this wired in, top, bottom. I just got to go drive a few rebarbs, not many. And we're ready to go. I took the bird feeder, moved it around side, the other side of the tree. The birds have already found it. Yeah, they didn't have to look far. Reason I put a bird feeder there so they don't all get in here and get all their scratch, as you can see, but they still do. Uh, and that's okay. That's what they're eating. So whatever the chickens don't eat, and depending on certain times of the year, like when it's warm, you can see all the corn left in the scratch, they're not going to eat that. But when it gets colder, there won't be any corn left because they need it. And they know they need it. So just an old yard dog. I think you might be needing a diet too. As much as you run around, I can't believe you're putting on weight. We're going to get you guys all, all on a good diet. You don't care, do you? You'll eat anything. Look how lazy you are with those big old floppy ears. Let's go check on your brother. You're getting some good rest, boy. Yeah, that's what you need to do. But if you feel like you want to go outside, go outside and get you some, get you some, uh, some sun. That might help you. It's nice out, but you don't have to. Wait till you see what's coming tomorrow. I got you guys big, luxurious beds. Yeah, with memory foam. And you don't need to be tearing them up. They're going to be bigger than those beds. We're going to have to get rid of them because they're bigger. We might try sticking them on top of those. Yeah, Lily, until you get used to them. You won't be able to drag it outside, though, Waldo. No. What are you watching now? Owls. All right, we're going to let you rest, okay? Because he still don't feel good, Lily. got that accomplished now we wait till monday then we'll let the chickens out that'll be cool watching their reactions they'll probably act like it was always there that's how chickens do that's how dogs do but uh i'm trying to accomplish things that are outside because this is the most perfect weather time of year is in october and you got to take advantage of that i can work on this in the winter we are going to get in there. Hey, it doesn't have to be in October. It can be September. Just because October ends don't mean I'm going to stop making videos. So we'll get in there and do stuff. And uh, now that I got this renewed energy, uh, it's going to get done. I'm not going to be procrastinating and, and laying around and not doing anything. So, But I appreciate you guys watching for Dogtober, the... The views are still pathetic and it has nothing to do with you guys. It's YouTube. It seems when I get to about 1,500 views, it just stops. They, they cut it off. And that's every video. It's so aggravating. Uh, I don't know what their reasoning is, but they just do not let it go past that. 
you'll see a vid I'll upload a video it's doing good and then it hits that getting close to 1500 just drops I got 14,000 subscribers okay so something's going on with them well whatever we're going to keep doing it and YouTube's paying really high right now so I, I need as many views as I can get for the dog rescue because uh, man they're they're paying better than I've ever seen them pay so it would be nice to get up and you get paid by the thousand so for whatever they're say they're paying $40 uh, to put their ads on a video I get about maybe 20 of that but that's per thousand so if I got three four thousand views that's some good money but they're not letting me get past 1500 guys I can't explain it and it, yesterday it just it's the same old thing it just plummets after 1500 and but they do get more views over time for about two weeks and then it just dies out completely and if i don't upload a video and this never used to happen if i don't upload a video for a few days it just goes no views and i ain't never have seen that so i don't know what i did to piss them off but i guess that's life but we're just going to keep at it. You guys keep watching. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.